What's going on guys? Big Time 110 here. And today I want to show you guys a quick video of a ROM called CR Droid. Now I've seen this ROM around the forums for a while now and I thought I'd decide to uh, check it out. So without further ado, let's get into it guys. As you can see, it comes with the Google Now feed launcher on the left side. That's a plus for me. You know how, what I, how I feel about that. You know, double tap to sleep, double tap to wake, works like a charm. Everything works good. It's nice and fast. It got those new icons on top. You know, I, I know the video doesn't need to adjust it, but trust me, it's nice and smooth, guys. Now, let's get into the settings, what we're here to see. Let's get into the CR Droid settings. Here we have status bar icons. You can disable whatever you want. And what do you, what do you want to see? We go to clock, you got the options to see right, center, left. I have a center because it looks cool. And we also have the network traffic monitor if you want it. We got, let's see what else we have here. We got the uh, the battery bar if you want to activate on the top. Uh, maybe you don't want that. I don't, so let's just take that off. Uh, let's turn it off. Let's see what else do we have here. We also have uh, tap to sleep, as you can see. Brightness control on the top if you want it. I don't. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. We have quick settings. We have the tiles. We want to display the clock. We have the brightness bar. If we go to navigation now, you have your custom system navigation. Uh, we have the new uh, Q update. Make sure you put it on high. We also have the two button navigation for everybody that wants those pixel and the pill. We got the three button for your old school cats that want the old school. But me, I'm more of a new school, so I want those new system gestures from the the update uh, on 10 Q. So we also have touchscreen gestures for everybody that wants to activate that. We have, uh, let's see what else we have here. We also have lock screen, media art, battery info. So when you're charging, we got buttons like advanced restart, power menu. You could activate all this stuff here. We got the, the torch that I like uh, activated because... I like having it. You got the the other shortcuts for the volume buttons, like uh, you know, controlling playback. I always turn that on. Re Reorient the swap and swap the buttons when it's rotated. We also have sound. You could have a screenshot sound. You could turn it off. You could have the charging sounds on and off. We also have user interface, round the corners. Now I I messed with I was messing with these settings, but nothing was happening. So. Don't, I don't know, maybe it's just because it's still in beta, but either way, it looks good already. Uh, we also have miscellaneous. You can show CPU info if you like, but we don't need that. Um, we also have some keyboard settings here. But guys, just remember, Bluetooth streaming doesn't really work. For whatever reason, when I try to stream some music in my car, it was just like it sounded awful. So everything else is good. The ROM is solid. I love everything about it, but we're going to have to wait for one more update. Maybe they'll fix that Bluetooth streaming. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for all the support. Thank you for all the likes, all the subscribers, all the feedback. I'm really taking into consideration everything you guys say. You know, I, I like all the interaction. And don't forget to like, share, and tell everybody else, say, uh, Subscribe to my channel and I'll be back with more videos, guys. So stay tuned. Thanks. And I'll see you guys in the next video.